Hello and happy Monday. I have to show you guys Fran's new favorite spot. Look at her out on the deck. She's so funny. She's been loving laying right on the bottom of the planter. What a cutie cat. Hello and happy Tuesday. Me and Fran are out on the deck. She's over watching some bugs or something. Having my morning coffee. Reading up on the drama ensuing in the neighborhood Facebook group after last night's community meeting. They want to put a 28 unit apartment building with ground level retail space, potentially a restaurant, in the space where four row homes were. And they only want to add five parking spots in a neighborhood this section of the neighborhood already doesn't have enough parking for everyone that lives here so it's just been amazingly dramatic a community meeting first of all was planned really poorly they didn't leave enough time to go over the topic and this is the topic everyone wanted to talk about so they're gonna have to schedule another one for deep diving but <clears throat> Excuse me. It did start to get spicy. Like, I don't even care if they build it. Some people were really worried about the infrastructure. Can we handle it? The aesthetics. Obviously, there's other things that are going to need to happen. There is no crosswalk in like a several block range. So you can't even get across the street really effectively. Um, those are simple things to remedy, I would think. But I mean, the real problem is, how are we gonna have 28 units? So, who knows how many people could be 28 in an ideal world. Could be way, way, way more than that if there's roommates and couples. And I don't know, someone could move in with a, a couple could move in with like a 16 year old kid who's driving. That could be three cars. It's just a mess just a mess and the developers are like well we didn't even need to add these spots okay don't don't rub it in anyone's face like you're doing people a favor so i'm sure that's going to continue to be spicy i can't wait to go to the next meeting and see if anything productive comes up yeah and then everyone's throwing out this word word nimby i had to google that i had no idea what that was but i don't even think that's the case like it's not like anyone's saying don't do it they're just saying have the right stuff in place so that it's not the hunger games of parking because they keep calling they keep saying it's going to be affordable affordable housing there's no affordable housing in the area at no point in this neighborhood when more apartments were added has the price ever dropped so that's not even going to make things more affordable this is just hot neighborhood but also, even if it is more affordable than the other similar apartments in the area, people are just going to gobble them up and play Hunger Games with the parking because their rent's going to be cheaper. So, just stupid. I won't bore you guys with all the details. I'm sure no one cares about the ongoings of my neighborhood, but it was spicy. Spicy meeting. I'm sure the next one's going to be just as spicy. So that's what I'm up to this morning. Austin probably won't be home till late. He's on the road right now. And it's just gonna be me and Fran. And I'm working, but my boss also is in an all day thing. So I'm just gonna handle things as they come in. I don't have anything to really do for her at the moment, which is nice. My, my work schedule is very up and down. I mean, they're like super busy. Don't have time to breathe. Or chill and it's like an in-between day yeah also my tomatoes are getting so big I have to show you there's Fran over in the corner are you watching the birdies baby but look at my tomatoes they're so big and then there's some little ones popping out too I can't wait till they ripen my basil on the other hand still is not flourishing at all it went through some trauma the major trauma. The squirrels kept digging at the basil for some reason. And my mom brought me over some peppers they need to plant. One's a sweet pepper, one's a chili. So I'll probably do that sometime this week. Yeah. 
I probably need to pop all the buds off of these chives too, but I don't feel like it right now. So, um, our water is off. I didn't even realize it. The neighbor texted me and there's all this nasty brown water running down the street. So I'm glad my load of laundry was done. I don't think it properly got rinsed, but it is what it is. It'll smell extra soapy because I'm drying it now. I'm glad I didn't start the second one because I definitely didn't even notice the water wasn't working. So annoying. They don't give us any notice that they're turning off the water. Having some lunch. I have been on a avocado toast kick recently. I've been doing a lot of sourdough bread with avocado and then this tomatillo sauce that we got at the farmer's market. It's so good. I'm just going to have a little bit of cucumber and hummus as well. That is my lunch today. It looks super yummy. Hello and happy Wednesday. We are going to meet me at the altar tonight, but we are at Poppy's having dinner first. I was not in the mood to cook, so let me show you what we got. Here's a clue. It's the same thing I always get. Got the mission style burrito, the vegan version. We've been having chips and guac. Austin always gets the same thing, but with Beyond Meat. I bought the tie dye shirt, it's very cute. Happy Thursday! The concert last night was so good. I'm really not sure why Meet Me at the Altar isn't more popular, like bigger, because their music is so fun. So fun. Um, but it was such a good show. I have to show you guys the t-shirt in more detail. I know I kind of showed it on the wall at the auto bar, but I'm gonna have to show you guys that because it's just a great t-shirt. I only buy band t-shirts now if I actually think the shirt is cute, because I have too many t-shirts, like way too many t-shirts. And then I just got a J. Crew order, our UPS guy, he's so sweet. He threw it over the fence, well I mean like gently, he didn't like, you know, toss it. But he put the package over the fence because he thought no one was home because the car is gone. Because we only have one car. And I came and opened the door and he's like, oh I already put it over the fence, I didn't think anyone was home. I'm like, that's fine, but I can go get it. Um. Yeah, so that was really nice. I like when the delivery people are like thoughtful like that. We have a, an Amazon driver. We don't always have the same Amazon driver, but a few of them know to put things behind our trash cans if no one's home, because you can't really see a little Amazon package behind your trash cans. So that's always nice. But having that doorbell, the ring doorbell has made a huge difference. I know exactly when the packages are here and I can run out and get them. I have my coffee and I'm just sitting out on the deck. I've been doing some emails and Fran's been in and out. And um, yeah, it's just so nice out. I've been sunning my legs every time I come out here, which is probably why they're ashy as hell right now. They need some uh, lotion, but I, I'm sure they are approximately zero shades darker than when I started doing this. <laughs> I just don't tan and I really don't. I think the only time I've ever been like, noticeably tanner than I normally am as when we went to Aruba but other than that I really don't I just don't change colors unless I'm burning yeah I don't really even want to tan 
it's just like that weird weather where it's kind of cool in the morning and I want to sit outside, but I'm going to be cold. So if I put half my body in the sun, it keeps me warmer, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm in a sweatshirt and shorts. It's like weird combo weather. So, yeah, it's been a lovely day. Tonight, I go to see Latrice Royale. And then tomorrow we have Blink-182. It's, like I said, it's a busy, busy week. So, that's what I'm up to. And, uh, we'll be trying all those J. Crew items I just got in a second. Here are my pale and super ashy legs. <laughs> Even if I do end up getting a little tanner, the back of my legs is still going to be white as a hell. Okay, first item in the haul from J. Crew. You will recognize this because it's liter because it is literally the exact same skirt I have in green and lilac and white. They brought it out in a pink for some reason in a different drop than the lilac and the white. And it is my favorite skirt, so I bought it. I tend to do that a lot with favorite things because I like a rainbow assortment of things. And when something fits me really well. I just want it in every color. So I think it is kind of weird that they did both like this pale lilac -y tone and the pink in the same season. Because, I mean, they're both like in the same family, I suppose. <laughs> but I really like them. I really like the J. Crew uh, like gauzy skirts like this one. And I like their slip skirts as well. I did get a slip skirt, this orange one, recently from Loft that I think I showed in a video and I will say, I don't think the quality is as nice. That said, I did get a slip skirt, I don't know, maybe over the winter or fall from J. Crew that was not the same quality as they had been. So I don't know if different color fabrics just aren't uh, living up to the same quality. So um, while this is my favorite cut from of skirt from them, um, I mean, aside from this one, I love this one. I will say uh, it is the case-by-case -case basis with the fabric with each color, but definitely not ever getting another slip skirt from Loft because I just don't think it is as nice quality at all. And the fabric already has like a little run in it. It's just, it's not as good. Like these J. Crew ones are fabulous. Now other skirts from Loft, love, love this one. And this one too, love. But yeah, the slip skirt was not great. I mean, I'm still going to wear it. I still really like it, but I wouldn't purchase again because I don't think the quality is there. Anyway, that was a little bit of an aside. I love this. I love the color. It's fantastic. Obsessed. Honestly, I kind of like it with this yellow sweatshirt. Not bad for a nice casual morning outfit. Here's the next one. I wasn't sure how I was going to like this one because I didn't know how this color would look next to my face it is kind of washing me out a little but i love the print and two i wasn't sure if i was going to need a large or a medium given how it's cut but i'm thinking i may have to size down to the medium because i get that the point is for it to be flowy but it's actually kind of huge so but other than that i kind of like it honestly i'm wondering should i go with a small because I sort of want it to fit more like a dress than something flowy. I don't know. Thoughts on this one. Also, don't love how it just is like randomly way longer in the back. Like the line is right across my butt. I don't know. I'm willing to give it a try in a different size, but... I do like the print. The print is really pretty, even though this is like definitely a sickly color on my skin tone, I think. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm like tripping over my own feet. It's really pretty. But I think we have work to do here. I do love how airy it is though. Very airy. I think, let's try the medium and then see what happens. Okay, here's the next dress. It is like this bright citrony. I think it's more of a yellow than a lime. Uh, it's really cute. And the two reviews I kept seeing online, or the two things about reviews I kept seeing online, was that it was sheer, which I have the undergarments for the, I mean, I'm wearing the black shorts under here and you can kind of see them, but I could wear the nude shorts under here. I wear shorts under all the dresses anyway. 
and um some people said it was sheer in the top i don't feel like you're seeing any areola like nipple yes but areola no so i'm not too worried about that and then everyone i noticed who was reviewing it was short it was like all low five foot people so i was like mm, maybe this would be a good one for me because aside from it being sheer everyone was saying they liked it um i do wish it had pockets i feel like something casual like this should but here's what i don't care for this bow back here is bulky as hell and it's so big it kind of makes this little dip here pointless because it's like what's the point in this dip you don't even see it because the bow is so big i feel like it adds a lot of needless bulk the straps are adjustable which is nice i'd probably bring them still a little higher but i did bring them up a little bit because they were very low <laughs> but um i don't like this as much in person i don't think this is made quite as well as it should be that bulky bow design back there is throwing me off a lot. Um, and then also the strap, the strap, I don't know if you can see that, starts underneath where the bow is. So it's so strange that it sits so funny. I think this has got to go back. It's just not made well. Oh, ew. And then there's that seam right in the front. Why would they do that? Do you see that? There's a seam right there. Why wouldn't that be on the side or in the back? That, that's so strange. Yeah, this is made really poorly, I think. So this has got to go back. Also, here's the last item I bought. I've been looking for a bag with navy in it because I keep having these moments where I'm like, oh, a navy bag would be great with this outfit and then not having one. So I found one that actually has this muted blue and this navy. And I think it's different enough from my existing blue bag to really serve a purpose in my wardrobe. And it's just um, like a knitted cotton cord. That's a fuzzy, that's not a defect. Um, I think it's great. And because it's cotton, I don't think that makes it feel too summery. I could probably wear this year round for my navy needs. I don't have as many muted blue needs, but I definitely have navy needs. And actually it looks really cute against this pop of color. So it would probably look really cute with that outfit as a pop of color. I think I'm going to wear that skirt with that shirt. Um, and one of my white Aritzia tops. I think that would be really cute. But yeah, I love this. And it was much cheaper than hunting down a Stella McCartney navy bag. Because I did look up a bunch of those on Poshmark. And they weren't really what I was looking for. And they were very expensive. So very, very pleased with this. And it's going to go live up there actually um, I need to do some readjusting up there but it will live up there with the blue bags when I'm done okay so I just processed the return for those two items repurchased the medium because for some reason J Crew one blind doesn't do exchange they just do return and buy but if you want to price match something like if you got something on sale and it's not on sale anymore you can just call them and they'll do that for you which is nice there are guys from the city outside, so hopefully they're working on the broken water main today because they came out yesterday, said they were turning off the water and then didn't turn off the water and then didn't work on anything. So I'm thinking they just didn't have the right tools or the right materials on hand to work on it. So they're back today. Hopefully they're fixing it. It's not really affecting water pressure or anything, at least not for us. I think it might be affecting water pressure on the other side of the street though. Oh, so that's just kind of a mess, and um, hopefully that's getting fixed today. Uh, this window in my office, for some reason, always gets the coldest air. I don't know why. <laughs> I know it's all the same air, but it's always colder when it comes in this window. Anyway, I wanted to tell you guys that bag from J. Crew that I showed you guys that had the like uh, powdery, dusty, mid-tone blue. I don't know what kind of blue to label that. I don't know. And the navy. That also comes in hot pink and red. And then there's a black and white. But I was thinking about getting the hot pink and red one. Because I've also been looking for a hot pink bag. But I think I can find a better hot pink bag than that. I don't know. I think I can find a shape that'll be like more versatile with a crossbody strap. So I can wear it with more things. I'm, I'm 
wish it had a crossbody strap, but I'm not too worried about it, to be completely honest. If I really wanted, I don't think it would be that hard to sew on like a little piece of fabric and loop around a like a, a metal ring and put a strap on it. I don't think that that would be that hard at all. But I, I, I don't mind it with the blue one because I know I'm going to be using it for specific things. I'm not going to use it for everything. But I have been really looking for a hot pink bag that I want to use probably a lot more. So I'm on the hunt for that. I did see one from Stony Clover Lane that was really cute, but it was like a shoulder bag. And I think I want something that's more a crossbody option that's going to be easier to be hands-free with because I do wear a lot more pink than other colors. So I want to make sure it's something versatile, maybe with a top handle and a um, strap. The Brandon Blackwood bag in pink would be nice. But by the time I got those, the pink ones were all sold out. And for some reason, they're super expensive on Poshmark. I haven't looked in a while though. Let me search it. Brandon Blackwood purse. Be helpful if I spelled purse correctly, right? Mm -hmm. Let's search by pink, see if we can find that bag that I have. Not seeing the exact one with the mesh body. I know they made it, but I'm not seeing it on here. But yeah, all these bags on the aftermarket go for so much more money. And after Beyonce just wore one of his dresses on her tour, I feel like he's really gonna blow up, which deservedly so. These are nice. Like, yeah, here's one in that shape that I have with the mesh and it's $400 and those bags were not $400. So I don't want to like pay that much for it. That would be the perfect bag and it's in a hot pink. Anyway, the hot pink journey continues and uh, let me know if you guys see a good bag. I wanted to show you guys this thing I got on Amazon. I saw someone post about it on Instagram. And basically it's like this little nightlight type thing. But because when you go to bed at night and like the lights are off, this is the only light, it attracts bugs. And there's like a sticky thing on the other side and it's actually been working. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Cause like, look at all these fruit flies and gnats that it has caught already. And I just put this thing up a few days ago, so. It's that season, we've got windows open, we're bringing in fresh produce from the farmer's market. So if you guys have that same problem that we do, I cannot recommend this enough. And then once there's like maybe a few more bugs on there, I'll switch it out and put a new one in. They sell refills too. This is the best solution that I've ever found to this type of thing. So definitely highly recommend this. Those little apples that had like the little vinegar solution, those don't work nearly as well as this. This is fantastic. So I just wanted to tell you guys about that because I was looking at it while I was filling my water cup and I was like, oh, I got to tell people about that because that thing is working so well. Anyway, it's a safe for home, but I'll link to the Amazon listing so you guys can check it out. So update on the broken pipes. It has gotten muddy and gross. So... Hopefully that means they're actually up there working on something. Because it, it, it looks nasty right now. They also turned off the water again without telling us. Like, communication would be fabulous. We are down at Soundstage. Look at the cool sign back there. There's shoes. We have beverages. And we're just waiting for the show to start. Okay. And with all his by my looks, he won't be blinded. Do you think the wizard is dumb or like? Hello and happy Friday. We are about to walk over to Golden West for lunch. We should probably take this J. Crew package too that I have to take to the post office. Although the post office, when when do they open back up after lunch? Two o'clock. We'll just drive it over later. 
Um, yeah, so we are about to go to Golden West for lunch and we just had Closet America here to fix our drawer that came off the hinge or something. And it was a nice quick fix. So we are heading out now. Got my Newfound Glory shirt on, my J. Crew skirt in white, Target lug sole sandals, and my Stella. Although I'll have to change out of this one for the concert tonight because there's a clear bag policy. So I might film a little reel for that. I'm not sure yet. We're having some mozzarella sticks, vegan mozzarella sticks, and some marinara. So I've got the vegan spring chicken sandwich, waffle fries, and Austin has the vegan hangover burger. Okay, so our vegan cuts box came while we were at lunch. Austin's gonna give us the tour. Quinoa and chia pops. Tomato basil flavor. Interesting. Okay. I really do like those. Chocolate chipmunk keto cookie. Oh, I did dream about cookies. It's probably none of those cookies are any good though. Dark cocoa. Coconut cookie. Oh. They had this have these Starbucks all the time. There's these mushroom chips. You I didn't like, like them, right? No. Maybe I'll put them in our bag of things to give away. Happy candy. Raspberry. These gummies, the other gummies. I like gummies. I like raspberry. We don't like these corn Crunchy things corn. either. Like sometimes I just like, that's kind of stuff's always in here. Yeah, but I do like these. Apple pie and white crispy raspberry swirl. These are, these are in here a few times too, the macadamias. Yeah. They're, They're too hard. They, these really kind of stagnated out. There's nothing new and Dates. interesting ever coming in these boxes. I did cancel it, but I don't know how many more months will be Cheese getting. balls. These are new. We're not seeing these anymore. Yeah. And these are... This is new and this, new. Know, this and is new, but the rest of it's yeah. been in our box before. Yeah. We're here at the arena. Seats are pretty good, good elevation. We got a couple shirts. This is the one Austin got. And then here's the one I got. Very fun. Got some fries. And we're just settling in. Went pee, got drinks, and ready for the show.
and happy Saturday. I'm letting Fran out because she's whining. And I'm eating my leftovers from lunch yesterday. Only a half of my chicken sandwich. Having some coffee. The concert was very nice last night, but Austin and I have agreed we are not too big of fans of arena shows. We like smaller shows, but I mean, we're not going to see Blink-182 at a smaller show. It is what it is. So, yeah, we're going to go out for a walk. It looks like it's a beautiful day. I'm going to eat first. We've gone out on our walk and Austin needed a bagel, so we've gotten a bagel. There was also a little shop we stopped in that had Pacifica items. They had the face wash he likes, which you can't find anywhere online right now, so we got all of them. <laughs> so this morning, I was going to wear my Meet Me at the Altar shirt, but I realized when I went to put it on, there is a rip in the sleeve. So let me show you guys. So it just wasn't sewn right here, so I'm gonna have to fix that, which is annoying. And then when I went to put on the Blink-182 one, it had like a smudge of the printing ink on it. Where did Austin put it? Mm, is this it? Yeah. So I'm gonna try and wash it and see if I can get it out. So that's annoying. It's less annoying than having to sew the shirt. <laughs> I don't know how I got two for two shirts that need work. We're in the car now. We're heading to Target. Austin needs a couple things. And then I think we'll hit Lowe's and get some potting soil. So I can plant the peppers my mom gave me. I still haven't done anything with those yet. Yeah, we walked around the avenue a bit. We did. We went on a really long walk, actually. And we went and got Austin the bagel. Brother was in the neighborhood, so we met up with them and went in a couple of different stores, and uh, that was nice. Just kind of relaxing. We were out walking and doing stuff for like three hours, two hours, two hours maybe. So got some good steps in. It was over two hours. Probably. Yeah. Two and a half ish. Now we're gonna run some errands. We're home now. I'm gonna show you guys everything we got out at the stores, but we're also making dinner because we're starving, even though it's not that late in the day. We ate really early. I've got yellow bell pepper, zucchini, red onion, and uh, asparagus going in here. I'm gonna season that up with a little more cooked rice and then teriyaki tofu going in the air fryer. I'm gonna put some cashews on mine. Uh, Starbucks got me. <laughs> it got me, gal. And I got two new cups. I just, I love these cups. They're the perfect size cup. And then, out here, where little Miss Francesca is, we got this lovely mixed assortment from Valley View Farms. We got one of those last year, and we really enjoyed it, and it encouraged the bees to come up to pollinate, so worked out. My tomatoes are doing so well. I got two more basils because that one is super sad. And then we got a catnip I'm going to plant and see if Fran is interested in that. And we just got some more soil. We also got a rosemary I'm going to attempt to put somewhere in the yard. So that'll be fun. Okay, we've got the basil planted. That's the chili pepper. That's the sweet pepper. And then the cabinet, because that one can have more shade. Yeah. All done. Hello and happy Sunday. We've already done a whole bunch today, so I'm going to show you what we did. Apologies, because I didn't feel like walking down the stairs, but Austin shaped up our bushes. We'll plant it this rosemary. Hopefully, it'll take and it'll be nice. Then over there, I planted three lavenders. They're in the shade now, but they got lots of sun over the course of the morning. Then we mulched where we needed to touch up mulch and gave the chairs a very, very light housing, but nothing too crazy. Just getting things in shape for summer. Say hello, Franny. Franny. 
here's my outfit of the day. Just doing a quick one because I just threw on something comfy. Got one of these Aritzia tops, my J. Crew skirt that I love, my Birkenstocks, and I'm gonna use my new bag today because it matches like perfect with my shirt. And then some old vintage earrings. We're at CVS and I found the plant based Hershey's items. I'm trying the chocolate. We, of course, would normally go over the promos uh, right away, but we have so much today that we're going to do that. Oh, it's pretty good. It's very similar to the regular one. A little different, but very similar. Hello. We ended up going out with a couple friends to Hamden Yards, the outdoor bar. I think I showed it before, maybe. And they're very private, so I didn't film anything, but it was nice. Had a couple cocktails and a pretzel. And then we came back to the house and chilled in the backyard for a while. Just chatted and had a nice time. Now I'm tired. I'm doing a face mask and then I'm gonna pass out. My eyes are so irritated. The allergy season has really come upon us. They're so itchy. I want to scratch them so bad. I want to like rub them, but if I do that, it makes it worse. So I'm trying to refrain. But yeah, it's been a nice day. My legs are are so like jello-y from all the squatting and bending over in the backyard today planting and digging and all that stuff so i'm sure i'll be sore in the morning i'm already sore right now because we did it we did it yesterday or this morning oh my god I'm losing track of what day it is yeah just chilling now waiting for this mask to fully dry i'm so tired it's been a long day We've really done a lot this past week, so, yeah, I'm ready to sleep in, except my body doesn't let me. <laughs> oh.